Welcome back everyone to another Psych Reacts video. I am Poseidon and today we will be looking at Elliot Roger and his chilling manifesto before he went on a killing spree. Now if you don't know, this kid here he is 22 years old in college. His dad is Peter Rogers, who is actually an assistant director who was making The Hunger Games. So needless to say, this kid has money. So he mentions in a previous video that these sunglasses right here are $300. He's driving a BMW which looks very nice and he can't figure out why girls don't like him. We're gonna hit play and then we're gonna stop it here and there and talk about certain things. It all has to come to this. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. The day in which I will have my revenge against humanity. Against all of you. For the last eight years of my life Ever since I've hit puberty, I've been forced to endure an existence of loneliness, rejection, and unfulfilled desires, all because girls have never been attracted to me. Girls gave their affection, and sex, and love to other men, but never to me. I'm 22 years old, and I'm still a virgin. I've never even kissed a girl. I've been through college. First, I want to point off the way that he speaks. So it kind of sounds like this is rehearsed. Um, he does have a 140-ish pages of a manifesto. It's called like the Twisted World or My Twisted World or something like that. And it explains everything and it goes through his whole life. He mentions how girls are never attracted to him and he's still a virgin and he's 22. But like being 22 and still a virgin is not a bad thing. I know like guys have a lot of pressure from other guys, but it's not a bad thing. But he seems to think that it's unacceptable. He'll never find love. He's been eight years in loneliness, but he's only 22. So that puts him at 14. So he expected to have a girlfriend at 14 and all this stuff, but obviously that's not how that works. So he's focusing a lot on um, the affection, the sex, the love, and not anything else that comes with the relationship, like being partners together, growing together, and all of that other stuff that comes with those other attributes of being in a relationship. Let's take a look at this next clip coming up. I'm through college for two and a half years, more than that actually, and I'm still a virgin has been very tortured. College is the time when everyone experiences those things such as sex and fun and, and pleasure. During those years I've had to rot in loneliness. It's not fair. <laughs> so he's saying his life isn't fair because he doesn't have a girlfriend yet. He hasn't had all those fun college experiences yet. Um, he's 22. He is probably very rich because of his father. And he's saying that life isn't fair. So obviously he has this blown out proportion view of what college is like. And he thinks that, oh, once you go to college, you're going to get laid or something like that. But that's not always the case. And I've read some of the comments and uh, watched some other videos about him. And he apparently mentions in his manifesto that he has social anxiety disorder. So with that, it becomes harder to interact with other people. And he clearly lacks the ability to talk to other people, let alone the opposite sex. So it makes it more difficult for him to form those relationships and let alone keep them. Also, someone in the comments has mentioned that he's never even engaged a girl. He like would go on walks and would expect people to come up to him and be like, can I be your girlfriend? Like, he obviously doesn't understand how relationships work. In this next clip, he addresses the fact that girls don't approach him and don't see anything in him and he doesn't understand why and he expresses those feelings in this section here. You girls have never been attracted to me. I don't know why you girls aren't attracted to me, but I will punish you all for it. It's an injustice, a crime, because I don't know what you don't see in me. I'm the perfect guy. And yet you throw yourselves at all these obnoxious men instead of me, the supreme gentleman. I will punish all of you for it. <laughs> 
His laugh is very creepy, by the way. <laughs> um, so he mentions, like, these girls don't like me. They aren't attracted to me. I don't know why they, they don't like me. Like, look at me. I'm the perfect person. I have so much stuff. I'm attractive. And I'm just a supreme gentleman, as he words it. This tells me that he is a little bit of a narcissistic personality disorder because he calls himself supreme and a lot throughout the whole rest of the video he thinks of himself as a god he calls himself a god he's like once i do this i will be a god and you will be animals so he's he's very narcissistic when he thinks of himself but he does nothing to engage with other people so a lot of this plays into the whole hollywood theme like his dad is pretty famous and he's got a lot of money he owns a bmw has 300 dollar glasses like a lot of stuff has been handed down to him and been given to him so when these girls don't look at him and throw themselves at him, then he gets offended and he's like, well, how come they're not throwing themselves at me? Don't I deserve it? I believe I deserve it. Look at me. He clearly doesn't understand how normal society works because he had everything handed down to him. So he doesn't know what it's like to actually work for something besides this manifesto because it seems like he built this whole story, made it his life mission to follow through with this plan of this massacre. So let's keep watching this video. On the day of retribution, I am going to enter the hottest sorority house of UCSD. I will slaughter Every single spoiled, stuck-up, blonde slut I see inside there. All those girls that I've desired so much. They would have all rejected me and looked down upon me as an inferior man. If I Listen to his words there. Um, let's go ahead and replay that little section real fast. There. All those girls that I've desired so much. They would have all rejected me and looked down upon me as an inferior man they would have all rejected me and looked down at me as an inferior man they would have is the key word here so he's talking in the future tense because he never actually asked any of these girls what they thought about him he is just assuming that all of them would reject him so that also goes to further the points of some of the other people saying that he never actually engaged in conversation with the other girls and been like hey i like you we should go on a date so that wording right there just reiterates the fact that he has never actually asked one of those girls so i want to point out this next part because the way he speaks is a little odd i don't know how he actually talks in like a normal conversation but to me it seems odd so let's go ahead and listen to the clip you will finally see that i am in truth the superior one the true alpha male. <laughs> yes. After I've annihilated every single girl in the sorority house, I'll take to the streets of Isla Vista and slay every single person I see there. All those popular kids who live such lives of hedonistic pleasure while I've had to rot in loneliness for all these years. They've all looked down upon me every time I've tried to go out and join them. They've all treated me like a mouse. Well now... So in that section, he's using the words annihilated, slay, inferior. So it kind of seems like he's living his manifest, if that makes sense. His manifest is the story of what he believes his life to be. Correct me if I'm wrong because I've never actually read the manifest, but it seems like his manifest is a story of what he believes the world to be and his life to be. I feel like he's taking on the character in his manifest, which is essentially him, but it's like an alternate version of him. Coming up, take a look at how he builds himself up in this next clip. All those popular kids who live such lives of hedonistic pleasure while I've had to rot in loneliness for all these years. They've all looked down upon me every time I've tried to go out and join them. They've all treated me like a mouse. Well now, I will be a god compared to you. You will all be animals. You are animals, and I will slaughter you like animals. 
and I'll be a god, exacting my retribution on all those who deserve it. And you do deserve it, just for the crime of living a better life than me. All you popular kids, you've never accepted me, and now you all pay for it. So if we were to take a look at this in the sense of a person who has a god complex, we could say that his manifesto to him is what he believes is like the Bible. So we could kind of compare his manifesto with the Bible and he thinks that his manifesto is his version of the Bible and it's what he believes and because he sees himself as a god or going to be a god. Also, he believes that all of these popular kids deserve this violence that he's going to act out on soon because they have a better life than him. Now, the only thing that the other popular kids probably have is relationships and that's what he wants, but you can't buy that. You have to earn that. So overall, he tries to cater towards people who feel lonely and are outsiders to depict himself as a victim in all of this. He also clearly has a distorted sense of reality. This could be uh, attributed to the Hollywood lifestyle that he lives because of all the money he has and everything that he owns and all that being handed down to him. So that would also make him feel like he deserves to get things handed to him, which could be why he struggles forming relationships because he expects when he walks down the street to be approached by like millions of girls being like oh my god i want to be your girlfriend but like n no that's not how that works which also goes to show that he is very delusional when it comes to relationships and how to actually build one so this video was put up by daryl dixon it has all of his videos that he made before following through with the mass murdering. So if you want to watch the full thing, I will leave a link in the description below. But if you look at him, like he's not that unattractive, you know? So he has very nice features and I think it's just one, his personality. He also seems to be very shy and doesn't actually approach anyone and tries to avoid everyone therefore not being able to form actual relationships with people, especially girls. Shout out to Cold Mint for suggesting I react to this video. If you want to suggest one as well, be sure to leave it down in the comments and I will certainly check it out. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Psych Reacts. Let me know what you think down in the comments and be sure to hit that like button because it truly does help me out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I truly appreciate it and I will see you tomorrow. Peace. Thank you.